Hey everyone, it's Cody with After 5 Outdoors. Today I'm going to do a quick video. Um, yesterday I went out fishing. It was super windy and I had nothing but trouble and problems. My trolling motor quit on my boat, uh, the old Minn Kota Power Drive V2, 55 pound thrust. So uh, I got home yesterday and plugged the trolling motor battery in, charged it up. I took the prop off on the trolling motor and it was completely uh, filled up with fishing line. Not the fishing line that I use, so it must have been from the prior owner, but that's one thing I should have checked, but I didn't and whatever. So I cleaned that out, charged it up, and the trolling motor did work, so I sold it. And I wanted to upgrade to a 24 volt system. That one's a 12. The, it just was a little poochy, especially like in wind, and if you got a couple guys in the boat, the, you know, it, it's like anything else, uh, the bigger the better. I went down to uh, l and Fleet Stores today, and I purchased this uh, new Minn Kota Power Drive. This is a 70 pound thrust with 24 volts. So then I had to go get a new battery, and hopefully I'm going to try and get this all to fit. This boat is small, so the battery compartment is going to be very tight. but. I'm going to try to show you guys the best that I can, how to hook it up, how to do all that. Then I'll just kind of show you what you need and, and my experience with Minn Kota and whatnot. So just want to make a quick video because like the first time I installed one, I didn't really know what I was doing and now it's, it's fairly simple. So just uh, hang with me. I'm going to kind of show you what you need and yeah, we'll go from there. So the first thing you need from going from a 12 volt system to a 24 is obviously another battery. So you want to make sure that your batteries are the same. This one is uh, Group 27, 750 marine cranking amps, and reserve capacity of 160. So you want to make sure that this matches the previous battery that you have, and this is what I do have. The other thing you're going to need is a battery tray. This is going to sit in the bottom of your boat. The battery will sit inside there. You'll, uh, you'll screw this to the deck, and your battery won't be jumping around. Then you need a hold-down kit. It's going to be a little bit different than the one that I, I do have in the boat already but this will work probably actually better than that one provided that i have enough room to get everything in there so the next thing you're going to need you're going to need a trolling motor plug so this is the male end and this will attach to the trolling motor and then you need the female end this is going to go on the boat itself the male will plug into the female this will go back to your power source so you'll have your cables running to this. I'll connect these two, and that will bring the power in. Then you're gonna need jumper cables, I guess you would say. So you need to be able to run your batteries in series, and I'll kind of show you how to do that also. And you're gonna need some connectors to connect your wires together, and you gotta have some shrink wrap that keeps the moisture out and uh, such and such. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to have to clip these connection ends that come on here are for when your female plug has studs on it, I guess, and you put nuts on here. But this does not have this. i got to connect the wires together. So the first thing you want to do is clip them off. Strip them. Okay, after you get your wires stripped, which is not always easy, and be careful too if you don't have a, the proper size of wire stripper, which I don't, and I just use a side cutter. Be careful that you don't cut the wires off because I've done that like a hundred million times. Next, you're gonna need your connectors. What I like to do, and this is not the way to do it, this is just how I do it, so you do it your way, but I just do it what's easiest for me. So you want to crimp it. I like to crimp mine twice. And what I forgot to do there, like I do almost every time, and I was gonna do this step, is put the shrink wrap on before you put the connector on. So it's, it's much easier to slide your shrink wrap on before you put the connector on. Your other connector, turn it on. Okay, so generally they don't, uh, from the factory 
strip these wires down enough so you have to strip just a little more off. Okay, so your wires are all stripped. You're ready to connect them. It's very important to put negative to negative and positive to positive. So get your negative to negative, it matches black for black. Crimp it. Give it a slight pull, make sure that it won't come apart. Slide your shrink wrap over. Get that seated in there, your positive to positive. Crimp it. Okay, now you're you're hooked up. Slide your wrap over, then you can use a lighter, you can use um, a heat gun if you have one. I don't have a heat gun, but I do have a lighter. You want to burn it, but you do want to shrink it down. So just to strengthen it up a little bit, that way um, if there gets to be any pull on your wires, I like to go over them with electrical tape. It just kind of strengthens them a little bit. These connectors aren't super strong, so the electrical tape will really strengthen your wires. So like if you trip on your wire or something, who knows what can happen in a boat. They're not as apt to pull apart. Okay, so the trolling motor now is basically ready to be mounted, minus the fact that we got all the battery work to do. So I'll try to show you that as best as I can. Okay, so now that this step is done, this is probably the easiest. You get the battery to install, and you've got the female plug to put in the boat and run the power to the female plug. So I think I will run the power to the female plug first. Okay, so here's the compartment where the batteries are in the boat. You can see this out of the way, but there's not a lot of room, but I'm gonna fit another battery in there. So here's your power wire. And you'll run this to both power to one side and negative to the other. And then you'll run the positive to the negative on the other battery to cycle them through. So here comes your power outlet inside your cubby hole right there. And I'll be connecting this to that. So we'll be connecting these two. Okay, so that's done. Now this one, of course, is locked. And again, make sure positive goes to positive and negative to negative. This is plugged in to power. Now I've got to get the battery in there. Okay, so now I have the battery out here. I'm going to try to get it slided over the tray, get them hooked up, and go to the next step. So you want to think too in terms of battery placement. You have your positive post in the back and the negative in the front. So to wire them in series, negative has to go to positive. So I'll want to put the positive end on this side, closer to the negative side. So it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Okay, so that part is accomplished. Now the battery's in. So now, now I've got to connect the trolling motor to the batteries and wire the batteries in series. Plus, put the other charging wires on. So this is battery number one. Here is your power from your trolling motor. This is your power wire. And your negative wire for the trolling motor would be located on battery number two, which is this one here. And then, you're gonna run your positive and your negative from your battery charger to bank one, which is battery one, and your positive and your negative 
to bank two, which is two. Now that will charge the batteries. Now to get these batteries in series to go 24 volts, you take a jumper wire, which is this right here, place that on the negative on battery one and run it to the power on battery two. Now this trolling motor, I'll get it on here and plug it in and it should work. So that's how you wire it in series. And if you were gonna do a 36 volt system, you would take the jumper wire to negative on battery one to positive on battery two and you would place a jumper wire on battery number two on the negative and run it to the positive on battery number three. And then your power for your trolling motor would go on battery number one on the positive and negative on battery three. Here's just another look kind of inside the compartment here. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of space left over, but I'll be able to fit my life jackets and stuff in there. Now this trolling motor system will be work much better than the uh, 55 pound so here's your trolling motor base and here's your holes right here you'll drop two screws on each side down and then put bolts on them they should line up so i'm going to move around and see if i can get them to line up so now since my holes didn't line up i gotta take a quarter inch bit and drill two holes Batteries and go from 12 volt to 24.